Hundreds of protesters defied a ban on large gatherings, taking to the streets of Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou. They threw rocks and barricaded roads. Security forces responded with tear gas. We are fed up with what's happening. We want the president and his regime to go. We are fed up. We're fed up seeing the suffering here in Burkina Faso. The protesters driven into the streets for a number of reasons. Fed up with jihadist attacks sweeping the country and angry at the government of President Kabore for shutting down access to social media and the internet after 15 people were arrested for allegedly plotting a coup. Today, we're unable to exercise basic individual freedoms. They've cut off our access to Facebook. They turn off the internet when they want to. The government says it's not accountable to the people, but we put them there and they are accountable to us. The demonstrators were not only concerned with the situation inside their country's borders, they also spoke out against sanctions imposed by the West African Economic Regional Bloc, ECOWAS, against neighboring Mali, where a military coup upended a transition to democracy. ECOWAS decided to close all its borders to Mali, and we do not agree with that. Burkina Faso and Mali are brother countries. Saturday's crackdown by security forces was the second since November. Jihadist attacks linked to al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group have killed thousands in Burkina Faso and displaced some one and a half million people.